In this website training video, we're going to cover how to use the Testimonials Manager plugin that has been pre-installed on your website. We're going to start here with our Testimonials page that is for our sample website. Here if we scroll down, we can see that we have a couple of testimonials that have been added for us already. And what we're going to cover is how to add a new testimonial to this page as well as how to feature certain testimonials so they show up higher on the page than others. So the first thing we'll notice from the testimonials page, if we click on edit page, from in the dashboard the testimonials page appears to be completely blank. And in fact if we click on the HTML view of our edit page panel, we can see that we have a piece of computer code in here. And this computer code is what the plugin uses to display testimonials on this page. So you can't edit the testimonials by editing the testimonials page. Instead what you need to do is go to the testimonials control panel that's available in the left hand navigation of the dashboard. By clicking on it, it takes us to our testimonials panel and this is where we can see if we scroll down that we have our testimonials preloaded already. Scrolling up to the top again, we can see that we have the area to add our testimonials. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a testimonial that we have written on an external document. So here's our testimonial, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the actual testimonial text itself. Copying that, we're going to paste it into the correct field inside of our testimonial manager. It's a good idea to keep this testimonial fairly short, say around three or four sentences as longer testimonials tend to cause a problem with the widget that comes with this plugin. Going back to our document, we're going to copy the name of the person leaving the testimonial, as well as the location. The name is a required field. The location is completely optional. Another option is to add a website URL, and we happen to have one here for this particular client that left a testimonial. So once we've done that, all we need to do is click on Submit. And now we can see up above that we've been alerted to the fact that our testimonial has been successfully added to the Testimonial Manager. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see that indeed, here it is, available at the very bottom. Switching to the actual testimonial page itself, we see that if we scroll down to the bottom, that our new testimonial is in place down at the bottom in the order it was added to the website. And also the name, because we specified a URL, is a hyperlink that if we click on it will take us to the URL we specified. Now one thing that we can do here is we can feature certain testimonials so that instead of being at the bottom they're, they're so that instead of being at the bottom they're displayed at the top of the testimonials page. So let's go ahead and do that for this new testimonial that we added. Switching back to the dashboard view for the testimonial manager, to feature a testimonial all we need to do is locate the testimonial in our list and click once on the star icon. Once we've done that we're alerted to the fact that the testimonial is now featured and you can see that if we scroll down below that this testimonial has a yellow star next to it whereas the other ones don't. Once we've done this, you can see that by going back to the testimonials page, that our newly added testimonial is now featured at the top of the testimonials page instead of the bottom of the page.